Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. This time round for the Red Boss event, apparently, we're getting a Halloween costume for Milane. So, Milane is the only one uh, kind of without a costume, although she did get the illustrations uh, of a Halloween costume that was similar to Basara's wolf, werewolf costume, um, but it was never made into an actual costume where Milane could actually wear it. But this time around, she gets, well, as you can see on the banner right now, she gets a Halloween costume that is similar to Reina's costume design, just that it's, well, it's purple and yeah, it's. It's just basically an alternate color version of Reina's. So I guess if you want to pair Reina and Milane in a unit live performance, it's possible now. So yeah, so let's go take a look at the episode plate that is uh, belonging to um, Milane's brand new Halloween costume gacha. And of course, let's take and break down the episode plate itself and see whether it's actually useful in any sense. Alright, so here we go. So wow, 3,848. So this total score definitely puts Milane's plate close to the top tier um, ranking for most of the episode plates that's currently available in this current new generation of Wutan Macross. Of course, you want to pay attention to the other three divas who are equipable this episode plate. Surprisingly enough, Basara is one of them. <laughs> and of course, well, the stats are pretty well balanced around um, in all three all aspects um, from soul voice and charm and of course it's center skill well star plate up so any star element episode plates um, total will be boosted by 60% up so with this said I think you know you can straight away tell that Milane's episode plate is meant to be used as a center position episode plate so it should come with a score boosting activated skill so let's take a look so activated skill yeah so it does come with a score boosting activated skill well it comes with the brand new active skill that you've seen with Mikumo's um, Halloween cop episode plate so this is definitely something uh, new in terms for the yellow element star song because Milane uh, so Mikumo's one was a different element so Milane now is supporting for the yellow or the star element songs and fantastic stuff so we now have two different episode plates of two different elements that actually has such an active skill um, like I said in Mikumo's video this active skill is kind of like a double-edged sword if you guys um, missed out on that please make sure you go watch out that uh, watch that last episode um, regarding Mikumo's gacha where I mentioned entirely about how this active skill is useful in its own sense at the same time uh, it might do you more harm than it should so anyways um, live skill S rank so hmm so this is a pretty interestingly new um, right life skill kind of so when your life is below 30% for 14 seconds you will have received half amount of damage so it is a brand new kind of life skill we've not seen before um, so it's a defensive life skill so that's pretty okay um, considering that the current event uh, for the red boss um, they do feature five different songs that you can actually select so if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about make sure you go check out my Facebook page for my YouTube channel I have already updated all the brand new um, added ons for the red boss event that you can see visually um, some that have been mentioned in the notes for Dana's um, official Utah Macross wiki page and then there are some information that has not been informed and which I actually noticed while playing the red boss event so make sure you guys go follow me on my YouTube Facebook page link is in the description as always uh, make sure you follow and like and make sure you get yourself updated with all the brand new information that I usually don't add into my videos because well they are more important to release to the public um, because well the, as the Red Boss event is going on you might want to know about all this information quickly so that you don't lose out on chances of you know getting yourself into top 100 if you're aiming for top 100 because you are lacking a bit of information so all right let's move on to the last page and see whether this episode plate comes with a special note sadly to say it doesn't come with a special note so it doesn't put Milane's episode plate into the highest position 
in among the episode plates, but it is definitely between tier one and tier two um, regarding the sense that you know it does have a very good high total score. So is this plate actually beneficial for you or is it worth your singing stones? Definitely yes, because it's always good to have a brand new episode plate with a brand new active skill that might improve your high score for long duration style element songs. Um, you know, considering that it is its first of its kind. And of course, it does have an awesome total score after it gains that plus 25 entire luck bar, which is going to take you a lot of money <laughs> and a lot of time. Um, but, you know, in general sense, you know, it is a very good episode plate by itself. Alright, so let's do this 10 plate pool. Um, I'm just going to use a single 300 singing stones because I don't really you know, want to spend out more than I need to. Um, oh yeah, so not forgetting that the uh, Singing Stone store is actually having sales as well. I have not purchased them yet, but I would highly recommend you to um, purchase them. As you can see, there are two special discounted packs, you know, 1,840 yen. Um, the prices have been jacked up by a bit because of the tax um, you know, in Japan, changing its, uh, you know, its percentage and on, on taxing stuff. So that's why it's now a bit more expensive than what you normally see in the past. So, yeah, 1,840 yen for 500 singing stones. At the same time, you'll be getting the, uh, the Autumn Spheres 500 pieces as well. Then, of course, you have the 3,550 540 sorry uh sing singing stone pack which gives you a thousand singing stones and a thousand autumn spheres now why is it so important that you actually purchase this discounted packs well it's definitely cheaper in the sense that if you are uh, usually purchase singing stones it's definitely always good to purchase the discounted packs because it's going to save you a bit of money and at the same time you're going to gain those autumn spheres as usual if you guys have no idea what the autumn spheres are for um, during the red boss events it is very important because during the red boss events well tomorrow um, they will start selling um, radars within the autumn sphere exchange as you can tell uh, right now there is none available because normally they will have the radar at the top line but because it's just the first day of the event usually the radars will come on sale on the second day onwards so very important if you want to get into top 100 ranking for the red boss event you definitely need those spheres uh, that can only be obtained through buying those singing stone packs and of course if you have not claimed the halloween room set um, that comes with all the adorable Halloween mascots, you know, like Messer Q, and of course you have the Bat Guvava, <laughs> and of course you've got your Witch Minmei, so very very adorable set, it just needs 1000 Autumn Spheres that you can normally, you can actually get straight off the bat from, you know, purchasing the second discounted singing stone patch which actually gives you a thousand autumn spheres straight away so yeah then if you buy both of them you have a thousand five hundred autumn spheres what are you going to use the other 500 for well like i said um the chaos exchange in the autumn spheres uh, section will give you the radars available in well starting tomorrow onwards so you can use those extra um, autumn spheres for that radar exchange all right, so let's get back to the gacha and do that 10 episode play pool uh, because basically this is what the, the video is for. <laughs> let's see whether Milane actually gives me something nice. Well, of course, well, the last row of videos have been horrendous in luck. So let's see if things change up. So there is a bit of loading, uh, quite substantial amount of loading there. So hopefully that means something nice. So one, two, three. We get a 4-5, oh we get a 5 planes plus a golden orb, so we are definitely guaranteed a rainbow box. There we go, the guaranteed rainbow box. So we do get red, 2 red boxes as well, so there are chances of those 2 evolving. So here we go, the rainbow box. Wow, I got it! I got the exclusive plate! Okay, I am pretty happy because this is going to help me in getting a higher ranking position in the current red boss event. At the same time, it's definitely going to give me a higher chance of unlocking Milane's costume. Um, sadly to say, Milane's costume is locked behind the paid wall. Um, you know, considering that 
none of the event there is no event episode plate being given out to the Red Boss event, so no extra costume points are given for Elaine's costume. So this is gonna be a, a very very tough unlocking in terms of free to play players. So okay, we don't really get any any other episode plates that actually give. Um, Milane's costume, so there we go, we got costume points for Milane's costume, that's why we're getting this notification. I think this Basara plate that's glowing um, is actually for Milane's costume. Let me go and check it out. I think it should be. Here we go. Oh, yep, there it is. So we get two episode plates for Milane's costume, um, definitely putting us beyond the halfway mark. Uh, probably might use a Rarity Up Star to evolve this episode plate in the future. Um, because if I want to unlock Milane's episode plate, uh, rather Milane's costume, without really spending any more singing stones on her gacha, you know, that's probably the cheapest way you can, um, you know, get the costume once you've gotten the episode plate itself. Um, but yeah, so I am still kind of far away from getting another free, um, rare up star, because well, the the Utamaku pass. Um, I'm still like 50 plus days away from getting my next <laughs> Red Up Star and aside from this, the exchange in the Chaos Exchange where I'm only like 44 shots with the Red Up Star so that's kind of a bummer I'm going to have to wait quite a bit before I can actually unlock Milane's costume but that's okay um, it's always nice to use maybe episode ops to unlock Milane's costume but anyway guys thank you guys so much for joining me for another episode of Uta Macross Gacha fantastic we got our luck changed around but it's just one you know five star episode plate I've still not seen myself pull maybe two or three I, I have seen myself pull two five star episode plates in one go but not three or four I've not gotten those godsend pulls so far but I'm still waiting for that day guys so thank you guys so much for joining me once again and hopefully you'll join me all the way until the point of time that I put my first kami pool uh, if you guys don't know what a kami pool means it, may, it basically translates to a god pool so <laughs> uh, yeah so I, yeah do the usual stuff let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think about me lane's episode play or maybe um, you know what you think about the gacha system <laughs> from from the beginning of Utah Macross until now what you guys have gotten for yourself let me know down in the comments down below as usual like the video if you appreciate the content as always and of course share the video to all your friends who are still playing Utah Macross and needs to know all this important information make sure you guys uh, get them to like my Facebook YouTube page as well because all the important information are all posted there when it's not in my videos and of course I'll see you guys in the next video until then bye